Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got another epic week of 2022 set rumors from LEGO Star Wars, The Batman, and The Muppets collectible minifigures, The Queer Eye Fab Five Loft, and Mini Disney Castle, LEGO NBA, and could a LEGO gaming theme mean more Overwatch, Sonic, and Zelda? This video is brought to you by my LEGO Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. This week we rage on the finale episode with former contestants Boone, Corey, Mel, and Tyler. And you can listen to this episode on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or more using the links in the description below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over at Target, tons of Lego sets are up to 20% off. And even some of these sets you can also find on Amazon. Next up, the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Pirate Ship is 15% off. And the Lego DC Wonder Woman vs. Cheetah is 29% off. From Lego Super Mario, the Piranha Plant Power Slide and Piranha Plant Puzzling Challenge sets are 30% off. Plus Wiggler's Poison Swamp is 27% off and Bowser Boss Battle is 20% off. At Lego Santa's Visit and Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition are now available. And if you want to pick anything up and support the channel, you can find these deals and more in the description below. Next up, thanks to Promo Bricks, we've got tons of Star Wars rumors for 2022 we have to break down. First up, it's looking like the classic land speeder will be seeing the Ultimate Collector Series treatment. The photos you see here were submitted as a LEGO Ideas project that hit 10,000 supporters, but LEGO didn't happen to choose. But it now seems LEGO is going to be coming out with their own version. The set is rumored to come out for May the 4th on May 1st, and will include a brand new curved piece to act as the windshield. The set will of course come perched on top of a collector style display stand, and the minifigures included are reported to be Luke Skywalker and C-3PO. So again, no super sought-after characters like we saw with the recent Republic gunship. And while I know there's many other vehicles fans would love to see, this is definitely a memorable one from the original trilogy. Next up, continuing LEGO's trend of bringing classic vehicles down at a more affordable price point, they're going to be bringing back the ATST. We last saw the classic version of the model from Rogue One, but it said this one will be a Hoth variant. And the set will include an ATST pilot, Chewbacca, and a Hoth Rebel soldier. There's also going to be another Another microfighter small scale vehicle, this time of the Razor Crest from The Mandalorian. While a bit obvious, it's a great choice, and I imagine it'll come with a figure for The Mandalorian. Next, the helmets collection is also expanding, and while there's three proposed designs, supposedly only two of them are coming. First up, we've got the helmet for The Mandalorian himself, which makes a lot of sense and again will likely look like Boba Fett's helmet. Next up, we've got Luke Skywalker's X Wing helmet, which could look really cool, especially with a new goggles piece, and it'll likely look open just like the two Batman cowls. And finally, the ATAT pilot, which which I have to imagine will look a lot like this TIE Fighter pilot helmet. And thanks to LEGO Fulcrum on Instagram, it's looking like Star Wars could also be getting one of these minifigure accessory sets next year. These accessory packs are often really interesting ways to get unique figures, and I'm hoping the same is true for Star Wars, just like it is for Harry Potter and Marvel. And speaking of Marvel, it looks like we're going to be getting another accessory pack, but for the Infinity Saga, so I can't wait to see who's included in that one. And speaking of superheroes, foreign retailer JB Spielwaren has revealed some additional Batman sets. Included in their list, they've got the Batman Call and the 1989 Batwing, but the other three sets are for the new Batman film, The Batman. The first set, loosely titled Bike Chase, is set to include the new Bat Cycle, retail for $15, and include the new Batman and Catwoman minifigures. Next, we've got tentatively titled Batmobile Chase, a set with the new Batmobile, retailing for $40, and including minifigures of Batman, Jim Gordon, and the Penguin. And finally, there's going to be a set with the new Batcave, retailing for $70, and including minifigures of Batman, Bruce Wayne, Alfred, and the Riddler. And at $70, I have to imagine it'll look a lot like that new Spider-Man spider layer set. With the movie being delayed, I have to imagine LEGO's been sitting on these sets for a while, so I can't wait to finally see them and hopefully get some cool figures. Finally, while we've got a LEGO art set for Marvel, it's also said that one is coming for Batman, so I can't wait to see how this one turns out too. Next up in minifigures news, this week we got rumors of an upcoming minifigure series based on the Muppets. These classic puppet characters have been around for a long time, and getting minifigure versions of them is so exciting. Just as with other recent series, there's only going to be 12 minifigures, which could leave some of our favorites out. Though I have to imagine we'll get some of the classics like Kermit, Piggy, Fozzie, Gonzo, and Animal. And I have to imagine these figures will include a lot of new molded parts, just like the Muppet type characters we saw from the Sesame Street set. As a huge Muppets fan myself, I can't wait to get my hands on these ones, and we'll find out more as they're going to be releasing in April or May. Next up, we also got the reveal of the Queer Eye the Fab Five Loft set with 974 pieces, retailing for $100 starting on October 1st. The set itself features the Atlanta loft used in the first couple seasons of Queer Eye on Netflix. The set itself is of course similar to the recent apartment sets that we got for Friends and Seinfeld, and I think they did a really nice job capturing this one with tons of unique details throughout. But I think the standout to most is of course the great minifigures for the hosts of the show, the Fab Five themselves. At the center there's the main living room area with brick built couch and chair. And over on the right there's a cool print for the neon light, a build for a cabinet, as well as a build for their TV console. At the back there's a really nicely detailed 
kitchen area with an espresso machine, sink, and range, plus a fridge that opens and a chalkboard. On the left-hand side, there's a barber-style chair with a mirror, and an area on the left with clothes and accessories featuring three all-new torsos. And at the back, there's even more accessories and alternative hair pieces. This set includes seven minifigures. First, we've got Tan France in that awesome sand green suit with that new hair piece, which solves the mystery of the one that was included in the Everyone is Awesome set. Next, we've got Jonathan Van Ness with an awesome face print and one of those unique torsos that says love is love. Next, we've got Bobby Burke with that nice torso print with dual molded arms. Next, we've got Karamo Brown with this awesome floral jacket print. And finally, we've got Anthony Porosky with that awesome leather jacket, which says rebuild the world on the back. There's also two minifigures for a before and after for teacher Kathy Dooley, plus a piece for Bruley the dog. The design here was led by VP of Design Matthew Ashton, who also designed the Everyone is Awesome set. And it's cool that he and the design team at Lego also partnered with Bobby from the show. Overall, I really love the look of this set, and I'm really excited to pick it up. And I love the way that Lego is doing more and more to bring in more inclusivity and representation in sets. And if you want to pick up this set when it comes out in October and support the channel, there's a link in the description below. Next up in video game news, there's long been rumors of additional Overwatch sets coming. But when a foreign retailer updated the naming from Lego Overwatch to Lego Gaming, it's leaving a lot of fans talking. As Lego also recently updated their Lego Games logo, many are thinking that this could be a full-fledged gaming theme. The Lego Overwatch sets were really great, but it seemed like they maybe couldn't sustain their own theme on store shelves, so why not make it a broader theme and bring in even more games? This could allow us to get more Overwatch themes, as well as create a home for other themes like Lego Super Mario or Minecraft. Plus, it could also be the home of future sets from themes like Portal 2 or Midway Arcade that we'd only gotten a small taste of in Lego Dimensions. And this could even create a great home for Lego Sonic after that Lego idea set comes out next year. And some are even speculating this could be our chance to get Legend of Zelda. But as for now, it's all just rumor and speculation, so we'll have to wait and see. Next up, we saw some updates on Shop at Home that we have to break down. First up, we got the official reveal of the mini Disney castle with 567 pieces retailing for $35. The castle itself is meant to represent the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, and it just looks stunning with all of its gold accents and that opalescent blue at the top of all the turrets. This one makes a really nice display piece and comes with an exclusive version of Mickey Mouse, making this one a must-have for me. We also got official photos of the Santa sleigh set with 343 pieces retailing for $37. While we talked about this awesome build last week, we hadn't gotten the official price, and 37 while a random number feels pretty fair for this one, especially with its four reindeer. This one's definitely a must-have too. Both these sets come out October 1st, and I think will be pretty popular, and if you want to pick any of them up when they come out and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Lego also updated the site with three Lego Super Mario bundles, and while this is a great way to pick up multiple sets, it's sadly not going to be a deal at all. As you'll see, all the bundles just cost the sum total of the sets included. But while you're on Lego's website, you may want to check out some of the sets that are about to retire, as sadly a lot of these large fan favorite sets are about to go away. From Lego Creator Expert, we've got the Roller Coaster, Modular Building Corner Garage, Winter Village Gingerbread House, Harley Davidson Fat Boy, and Crocodile Locomotive, plus the Lego Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series A-Wing, and from Stranger Things, The Upside Down. If you want to pick these sets up and support the channel, I've left links in the description below where you can still find these sets in stock. And if you want any of these sets, I recommend picking them up sooner rather than later, as these large-scale sets are usually highly sought after, and people regret not buying them when they could. And for me, I'm still debating that roller coaster every day. Next up, thanks to Adidas Philippines, we've got the reveal of four new LEGO Cross NBA shirts coming soon. Each shirt features an NBA player, including James Harden, Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, and Damian Lillard. And some of the shirts even come in multiple colors. There's no word as of yet if these will be available in the US, but I'm guessing it's just a matter of time. And of course, seeing these cool designs for the minifigures makes me nostalgic for the LEGO Sports line, and I hope that we'll one day get minifigures for athletes again. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news. And if all the great sets in 2021 weren't enough, there's clearly going to be so much coming our way for next year. For me, I just can't wait to see the collectible mini figures for the Muppets, and I also can't wait to get my hands on all the new sets for the Batman. But that's assuming I'm going to have any money left over from all the sets I'm going to be getting in October, including that Queer Eye Fab Five Loft, the mini Disney Castle, and the epic Santa Sleigh. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one.
Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video featuring Lego Super Mario, Sonic, Star Wars, Harry Potter, and more. And don't forget to subscribe.